I don't think I've ever had as many microphones pointing at me ever. Hi, welcome back to the studio. Welcome to an impromptu, unabridged, plenary explanation of microphones. You should see one of my early videos. They're not good. Check this one out from my other YouTube channel. Imagine a friend or a coworker, even your boss asking you that. It's a weird question. Especially somebody you already know, especially somebody you've already lived with for years. Yeah, so what's bad about that is the sound. Speaking of sound, the air conditioning just kicked on, or the heater, because it's cold. I'm gonna go turn that off so that sound is better. Be right back. Yeah, so sound is the most important part of video. It took a hot second to learn that. It took even longer to learn how to do good sound. So I just wanna pass that along because I've made a lot of mistakes with microphones and sound, and I want to help you not spend as much money and make as many piss poor videos as I have. You can have the most beautiful images, you can have the best camera, you can have the most stable shots, but if the sound sounds like crap, then nobody, you just can't, no, it, it's, it's, you can't use the video. It's, it's unusable. It's, it's, it's hard to listen to. And that's kind of the whole point of video is like you listen to it too. Like that's what's cool about video is it's, it's moving pictures with sound. So sound is important. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I have every microphone I have out and they're not all recording right now because, well, I can't plug them in that many times. So here's what I've got. I've got a Tascam. I wrote these down, a Tascam Tacstar SGC598. This was my first microphone that I got for video. Um, that's not true. Actually, this is my first microphone, but I didn't get it for video. This is a Shure SM57. And it's pretty standard. Um, the Tacstar is plugged into a Zoom H1 that I have 12 kinds of abused. But it's still ticking. Um, so we're going to listen to that with the Tacstar and without the Tacstar. Because they're very different. Then I have... The Rode, ah, the Rode Video Micro, and then I have this generic shotgun mic that I got on Amazon to plug into my Canon XA10, which is a great camera, by the way. I'll do a review on it soon. Um, then I have this Neewer. It's uh basically a video micro clone and it's not plugged in yet either it's the newer nwvm10 and then i have this little voice recorder here it's the philips voice tracer and then finally what we're going to do is we're also going to see how it sounds with just an on-camera microphone, which is not ideal, but you should know what that sounds like. Oh, and finally, I have this guy. This is my favorite. He's a little generic, I don't even have a brand, Lavalier, that I like to hide on my person. And then um, I plug it into my phone and... I can start and stop recordings from, I have a little Pebble smartwatch that can start and stop the recordings, which is really cool uh, because one of the tricks about sound is there's so much you have to get right in video. And so the easier it is to get it right, the easier it is to make video. And so I just, 
I like the convenience of this. Hey, I'm in the middle of filming a different video right now, but I totally forgot. The other thing I love about the lav mic to my phone is I use an app for Android called Easy Voice Recorder. And what's cool about it is when it's done, get the pro version, it's worth it. Because when it's done recording, when you're done recording, automatically uploads it to Google Drive, which is stupid cool. Anyways, now I'm gonna make a video about this. So, and frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm making this video more for me than for you because I'm curious which of these I like best. My hypothesis is I'm going to like this one best because there's a couple of principles. There's two principles for sound that I've learned. One, get the microphone as close to the source of the sound as possible without letting it be seen in the video. And two, yeah, don't let it make sure it's hidden. Make sure it's not in frame. So I said those two at once. The lavalier does that best, even if it's cheap. It's stupid cheap. I bought it for like $8, where the Rode Video Micro was more than that. So what I'm gonna do is just simply read from my old photography textbook from college, which was embarrassingly long ago and I was learning on film. I'm just going to switch between sound sources and I'll label what each sound source is in post down like right there maybe. And then there'll be links in the description below uh, for where to get all of these various microphones. So here I go. Why do you need to know how a camera works? Much of modern camera design is based on one of the earliest camera slogans. You press the button, we do the rest. Automatic exposure cameras set the shutter speed, aperture, or both for you. Automatic focus cameras adjust the lens focus, but no matter what technical improvements claim to make a camera foolproof or easy to use, there are still choices to make before you take a picture. Either you make them or the camera does, based on the manufacturer I'm sorry, based, based on what the manufacturer calculates will produce the best results for an average scene. But average results may not be what you want. You have the freedom to interpret what you see. Do you want to freeze the motion of a speeding car or let it race by in a blur? Do you want to bring the whole forest into sharp focus or isolate a single flower? Only you make these decisions. This is a great textbook, by the way. I forgot how much I love this textbook. It's Photography, the 8th edition, by London, Upton, Stone, Cobre, and Brill. Put out by Pearson, Prentice Hall. Get this book. If I find it on Amazon, I'll link to it as well. It's just great. Books are good. Don't YouTube is great. Books are better. Don't, don't neglect books. So this is what the microphone on a D5600 sounds like from about three feet away. And this is what it sounds like on my Canon XA10 from about the same distance. And then this is what it sounds like on the D500 from again, a different angle, but about the same distance. And right now I'm just talking directly to it so that the microphone picks it up the best way. There's about a thousand different things to learn about types of microphones and things microphones do, but the, any microphone, is better than it's like cameras any any microphone is better than no microphone and the closer the microphone is to the subject the less it distracts visually from the video and the better you aim that microphone at the source of sound the better this it's going to sound every time so i hope this has added something to you i hope that you have been encouraged by it i hope that you've had a good taste of different microphones so that you don't have to quite make as many mistakes as I have and spend as much money as I have on all these things. Yeah, links are all in the description below. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, please subscribe, please click that like button. I, I really wanna create just the best content for you 
because I've got just a bunch of stuff in my head that I, I somebody gave it to me. And so I want to give it away too. Best way to help me do that for you is subscribe, hit the like button, check out the links below. There's lots of other ways to connect with me and I would love to connect with you. Thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.